Welcome to Highway to Haithland. In this video, we're sharing 16 lessons we've learned after nine months of teardrop camping. We did not have a reservation for this campsite, and so we were very pleased and surprised to show up and get one of the best spots. It's Friday about 2 p.m. Um, it worked out really great. One thing that we learned while camping with our teardrop trailer over the last several months is how easy it is to actually camp off season as long as you have the right tools. We learned that you shouldn't keep your awning out anytime you leave to go to town and when it's raining and or snowing. If you do have your awning out, make sure to lower one pole so that the ice and water flows off the awning from the top. Thanks very much to all the commenters on that one. Bison burgers and beer is a quick, enjoyable camping meal. And for anybody that has a teardrop with a galley design with the storage down below, we would have probably preferred to also get access here because you see we have stuff here and we can't get to it without moving it. So that's something to think about. We have to completely remove everything from this counter in order to open it up and get to the stuff inside. So be easier if you could open it down here as well. One thing that's really important is to get a comfortable mattress with the topper and something to allow the airflow underneath. aspect of teardrop camping is to make sure you keep it well ventilated. We have learned over the months that if we get a campsite with electricity, it doesn't seem to be as private. So we like to go off grid more and more. Although state campgrounds do have electricity and they also have firewood, ice, and heated bathrooms, which are nice. This might be a little bit obvious, but we found that it's better to be near rushing water than still water for the mosquitoes. One thing we found that can make camping easier is these natural fire starters to make starting your fire easier. Or if you want to make it real easy, just use the propane fire pit. The solar panel on our trailer, our two batteries, and our fantastic fan have been invaluable for off-grid camping. Another thing I found worked best for me was to ditch the suitcases and get these bins so that you could easily grab items out of them. If we went back and started the process of buying a teardrop again, one thing we would buy is an off-grid Propex heater or something similar. Uh, right now we have to use the Mr. Buddy heater, or if we do have electricity, we use this 200 watt My Heat. Uh, but it would really be nice if we had an off-grid heater. This is a little too small. So if anybody's going to buy a bend teardrop or a teardrop with a similar design, I'd recommend getting a larger bucket. Adhesive hooks are our friends in a small space like a teardrop camper. We tried to utilize all the wall space. And we also learned that we need to get a better cooler or fridge. So what we're going to do is get, we're thinking we're going to get a Yeti or something similar for the interim and then move on to an electric cooler with a Jackery to support it. Thank you so much to all the great comments and suggestions from our last summer teardrop camping video. Those were great. 
We also really like having this sink. It comes in very handy. If we ever got another teardrop, we definitely want to sink in the back again. We wish we got this double chair a long time ago. It's important to be comfortable out in the campsite so Teddy can be comfortable and we can sit with him. We also have a few things we still need to learn. This aluminum siding gets pretty dirty and it's really hard to keep it clean. I don't even fully really know how to keep it clean. Um, I really miss the fiberglass that we had on our Casita travel trailer. If I got another teardrop, I might get a fiberglass teardrop. Although on the other hand, you know, what's the big deal about getting your trailer dirty? We're out here in the dirt and dust anyway. For a quick meal, we're going to make ravioli on the Coleman. That's a wrap on this camping weekend. We hope you'll join us for the next one. Thanks for watching.